Hey guys, movie fan here. Not too long ago, I talked to you about celery juice and what it's done for me. And of course, I promised I would show you how to make celery juice and a few tips along the way. So, that's what we're going to talk about today. First off, let's start with the basic equipment that you'll need. You'll need a juicer, and you can pick any type you want. Just go to Walmart, Target, whatever. And keep in mind, there's different models out there that do different things. So, you might want to do your research as to which models do what and what's best for you. And with your juicer, you're also going to need celery, green apples, water bottles, and in my case, a funnel. Now, the spout where the juice comes out of my juicer is a little shorter than my water bottles. So I have to keep it at the edge of the table and have the funnel underneath so I could get it to go in. And now we're going to get ready to start juicing. First, cut off the base of the celery, pull off the leaves, and wash your celery. And I highly suggest you wash your apples as well. And you might want to cut up your apples into fours and definitely pull out the seeds and the stems because they're just going to be in the way. Once you do that, get ready to start juicing. Get your bottle, your funnel, and get your celery right in there. And just start your machine and just gently push down. Now, I use about four or five stalks of celery and one apple per bottle. But it depends upon the height of the celery and, of course, how big of an apple you've got. But for me, four or five stalks plus one apple works just fine. Because in my case, you want to leave a little air in the top. I'll explain why later. Now, you just gently push the celery down, put in your apples, use the plunger or whatever comes with it to gently push the apples in as well. And when you're done with one bottle, move on to the next. Keep going until you run out of bottles or you reach the limit of how much you wanna make. When you're done, put the caps on and put the bottles in the freezer. When you put them in the freezer, you definitely want to leave air in the top of the bottle. That's why I did that, because if you paid any attention in science class or the magic school bus, when water, or in this case, juice freezes, it expands. So therefore, you need room to let it expand or else it's going to break your bottle. And basically, you just keep them in the freezer. And every day that you plan to eat, drink your juice, just pull one out of the freezer, put it in the fridge, and let it thaw out for the day. And when you're ready to have your juice, all you got to do is just pull that one out of the fridge and replace it with one from the freezer. Just take one from the freezer and put it in the fridge. And then do it the next day and so on and so on. Now that's how I do it, and it works really well for me. So now that you know the process, I'm going to tell you the tips. Tip number one, definitely save your water bottles that you get from the store. As I'm sure you've already noticed, that's what they are because of the labels and all that. And I know some people would probably say, eh, to that, but think about how much plastic is accumulating in the dump because of all the water bottles you throw away. And think about how hard it's going to be if you try to use different types of bottles in the freezer. And let's not forget, if you used a water bottle, and it's just a water bottle, all you got to do is just hose it out and let it dry out for a little while. Simple. Tip number two is probably the most important part. You want to wash your produce in advance, most importantly your celery. Now, what I mean by that is, I mean that you need to wash your celery two, three, four days ahead of when you're going to do it. Now, I know this may seem kind of silly, but it will save you a lot of time in the long run. Because when I first started doing this, I tried doing it all at once. I tried washing the celery and then juicing on the same day. And when I did that, my fingers got so bitter cold because, uh, well, I was doing it in the middle of winter. So big surprise there. And because I was trying to get all that done because my fingers were freezing, I ended up making quite a few bottles that were nothing but mush inside. And you don't want that. You want juice, not mush. That's why I suggest you do that. And I've been doing this for about three months now. So I'm not having any problems with it. It'll just save you a lot of time in the long run. Tip number three. Don't buy organic unless you can afford it. Because believe it or not, every video and website that has ever talked about celery juice that I've ever come across says, you gotta buy organic. I think that's a bunch of baloney because you know what? I've been buying just regular celery from the store and I haven't had any side effects or problems. I really haven't. I think organic is really a ripoff and it's completely unnecessary. Now, if you prefer to buy organic, then fine, it's your money. And now we come to tip number four. And this one is very important. Save that pulp. Because believe it or not, you can get a lot of use out of that pulp. 
Now, I didn't say anything about it in the previous video because at that time I didn't find out what you could do with it, except for a few things. Now, I found out that if you save the pulp, now how you do it is quite simple. If your processor has a catch bin right behind it, just dump it into a plastic bag. Or if your model just ejects the pulp into a bowl, again, just put it into a plastic bag. You could put it in the freezer and just keep it for however long you can. And here's where this stuff gets interesting as to what you can do with it. When you're ready, you could pull out some of that pulp and put it in the blender and make a smoothie out of it. And you can find recipes all over online. So you're good to roll there. And I found a video recently talking about how you could use it to make vegetable stock, a cheese spread, and one that I really like, veggie crackers. And if you want to see that video, I'll put the link below so you can find it. And I highly suggest you check it out. It's pretty awesome. But again, you don't want to throw out that pulp. You just want to put it in a freezer bag and store it in the freezer. You can make smoothies out of it. You can make vegetable broth out of it. Or, of course, those veggie crackers, which are really awesome, by the way, if you try it. And one final tip, when you get your juice out of the refrigerator, give it a good shake. That way it'll mix up because it'll probably separate just by sitting there. And that's all the tips I got. And I'll tell you another thing that's happened quite recently. When I made the previous video, I made that back in March, but I hadn't aired it yet. It is now April the 22nd, at least when I'm recording this right now. And I found out that I've lost even more weight. In fact, last when I talked about it, I was at 255. I am now at 250. Again, it has a lot to do with drinking celery juice to, you know, just even things out. And it's also my work. Because, again, these days I just eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or a peanut butter sandwich when I'm at work. Because I'm constantly on the go. I got to keep moving. And, of course, you know, I'm lifting stuff, moving stuff. So, yeah, that helps too. Again, I'm not saying that celery juice was all of it. I'm just saying that it's a big part of it because it has really helped me out a lot in so many ways. And again, do your research. Don't just take my word for it. I'm just telling you my experience. And it's going to be different for everyone. People who try this, they're going to get different results because let's get real. There's people who are taller, thinner, and bulkier and so on and so forth. But I will tell you this, a lot of people have noticed that I have actually lost weight. In fact, if you've been paying attention to some of my recent videos, you will notice that I looked a lot fatter in some of the videos than others. Because some of them I uh, recorded some years back and finally re-released them. And I'm sure you've noticed that I looked a little heavier than I do now. Because in fact, right now, I'm actually looking pretty good. Because I'm actually doing something about it. And... I think this will help you all out a lot. So I highly recommend try making celery juice. And I highly recommend go with my tips. It'll help you save a lot of time, a lot of energy, and a few dollars. And in this day and age, that's very important. So keep that in mind. And that reminds me, one more tip. Keep realistic expectations. Because we've all seen videos about weight loss now and all that junk. And they promise that you're going to lose weight like overnight. You're going to lose like 20 pounds in a week. Well, that's completely false. Now, there's ways that something like that could happen that could be either very dangerous, very expensive, and so many things in between. So that's important. Keep your expectations for weight loss realistic. Don't just tell yourself that I'm going to lose weight in two weeks. It doesn't work that way. It's a very slow, gradual process. In the words of famous YouTube bodybuilder Scooby, there is no such thing as spot fat removal. So I suggest you give it a try. And if you do, let me know how it works for you. Until then, this is Movie Fan, signing off.